What I wanted to talk about though today is the third R, which is radius. And one of the, because one of the questions that you asked before. Yeah, can I have multiple locations? Yeah. Yeah. And because ultimately, like you cover a very large area, like you could obviously, you could take cases, what, in all of, like how far out can you go? I mean, I can do cases anywhere. Um, yeah. But, you know, we, we probably can choose maybe um, Los Angeles or something, right? Yep. So the way to do that is to expand your business and establish real locations for you. Um, one where you, what, that passes the sniff test for Google and one where you actually set up a Google My Business page to support your local service ad page. And there's certain ways to do it. And no, the answer is not to go and get a, a PO box. And the answer is not to go and get a Da Vinci or a Regis, um, unless, you're, unless you actually have a suite. But just understand, you can't just rent a desk. I'm just going to tell you, if you want to use a suite in a Regis or in a community or in a, uh, a shared office space like Da Vinci, then what you need to do is you need to make sure that there is, that you've got at the front entrance to the Regis, that there is actually a placard out front that says your business name and the suite number. And then when you walk in and you go into the space where everybody has the shared space, you can walk into a separate door also that goes into your office. And on the outside of that office, there needs to be a, a permanent placard there as well. Okay. okay. That, that's or, the only way to do it. Or you can share office space with somebody else that is a colleague of yours and they can, they can do the same thing. They can have a suite as long as they have the address out front yep. of your location and then an address inside, you can set up a shared relationship with somebody where you basically are, you know, you're sharing that office space. So that's very, that's a, and this is a very strategic way to do it because Google is only going to show you based on really the three R's, which is reviews, which Jacob's got handled right here, radius and response time. The radius is basically you're going to be able to solve the radius problem or the radius issue by just putting another fishing pole in the water. Basically, setting up another office because what they're saying is, is that when that searcher does a search from their phone, they're going to show the business that's closest in radius to that particular person when they're on the street corner. So if you've got, for example, an office in Carlsbad and he is searching in Carlsbad, you're going to show up before the guy, the immigration attorney that is actually in downtown San Diego. Right. <clears throat> and, but that also is comes with a caveat because if that guy in San, downtown San Diego also has 550 reviews and a 4.9 star rating and he answers the phone every single time and he has no missed calls and he pays for all of his calls, he doesn't dispute many of them, then he's going to probably, he might still have a ranking that's higher than you on local service ads. Does right. that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Really, it comes down to the radius, the reviews, and the response time as to whether or not you're actually going to get leads from Google local service ads. Um, and what I'd encourage you to do is get verified reviews and then set up additional locations. And I would do it with the caveat of if you're going to, if I'm just going to tell you most likely because Google's already got, if you're going to use a Regis, um, there's, you're going to almost definitely go into suspension immediately, right? When you try to open it up. Um, and it's going to take, it's going to take a process to, that you're going to have to go through for very yeah. So I think it's the best to work with local partners, like other attorneys that you trust that can use their locations. Yeah. So what other questions do you have about local service ads, Jacob? You know, sometimes you can't just answer all the calls that happen. So whenever there's a missed call, it's important to call them back right away, right? 